you know how to answer questions about electric circuits which contain one battery. But what if at the exam you get a question with an electric circuit which has multiple number of batteries in it? How do you solve these questions? This video is going to show you. Hi, welcome to Physics Made Easy. Today, we are going to solve this circuit. Note here that we have two batteries. Normally, in the other circuits I've presented, and that you usually find in exercise textbooks, there's only one battery, generating one current. Therefore, you calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit, calculate the main current, and you continue from there. Here we have two batteries, so we have two currents. We cannot use the same strategy. What we are going to do here, we are going to use the second law of Kirchhoff. And this will allow us to find equations for presenting the circuit, multiple ones. So we will have simultaneous equations allowing us to find what we're looking for. Here, we are looking to calculate all the currents which are in this circuit. So, before I start, I suggest that you try it by yourself. On the screen is going to appear this circuit with the questions. Pause the video, figure it out by yourself, and then come back. Welcome back. How did it go? Now, the first step, that's for all circuits, is to look at the arrows. So here we have 11 volts. So we have some charges with gain energy creating a current, I. Let's call it I1. This current is going to go through the resistor of 3 ohms, so we'll have a potential drop here. I1 is going to add to another current here. So, here I also have an increase in potential, creating a current I2. The two currents meeting there are going to add up, creating I1 plus I2. I1 plus I2 is going to go through this resistor, creating a potential drop. And then they're going to split again into I1 and I2. I1 is going to go through the 7 ohm resistor, Therefore, you will have a potential drop here. Same for I2 going through the 2 ohm resistor with a potential drop there. All right, it's better to draw it on the same side of the circuit here. All right, so now I have an understanding of my circuit. I see that the two batteries are creating counts which join here. Good, now we need to calculate these counts. And for that, we are going to use the loop law. For instance, I'm going to go start here, and I'm going to go around this loop, and I know that the sum of potential differences in a loop is equal to zero. That gives me one equation. Let's do that. So I've got plus 11, so I'll draw it a bit underneath there, plus 11 minus 3i1 minus, because it's going against the uh, direction of the loop, minus 2 I1 plus I2 minus 7I1 equals zero. That's my first loop. I get one equation, two unknowns. I need another equation. So I'm going to use, for instance, I could use another. I could use this loop, but I'm going to use this one. And actually, I'm going to follow the direction of the current. So I can choose whatever I want. I can go in all directions I want doesn't matter. So here, I'm going to start here, get 11 minus 2i1 plus i2 to, 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 minus 2i2 equals 0. Now I have two equations with two unknowns I should be able to solve. What I'm going to do, I notice something interesting here. I notice that I've got this parameter in common and this one. 
So I'm going to just going to subtract, subtract one equation to the other. 11 minus 11, 0. Minus 2i1 plus i2 plus 2i1 plus i2 is evil. That leaves me with only these three terms. So minus 3i1, minus 7i1, minus, uh, plus 2i2 equals 0. Now, I can add these two, I get minus 10i1 plus 2i2 equals 0. So basically, if I solve this, I find something very simple. I find i2 equals 5i1. Cool. Because now I can just take any of the equations and plug this in, and I will get one equation with one unknown. Let's do that. So, I'll take this one, equation 1. I've got 11. <clears throat> How many I1s do I have? I have minus 3, minus 2, minus 10, 7. So I've got uh, minus 12 I1s. And I've got how many I2s? I've got minus 2 I2 equals 0. Minus 2 I2 is, I2 is 5 I1, so actually I've got minus 10 I1. If I solve this, it's very easy. I've got minus 22 I1 equals 11, so uh, yeah, so I can find I1 equals 11 on 22. 0.5 amps. I got I1. Well, I2 is not going to be very difficult to find. I2 will be equal to 2.5 amps. You see, so it looks complicated, but in the end, it's very simple. It's just a system of two simultaneous equations. I hope this was useful to you, and if it was, please subscribe, many more videos to come. See you!